Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Try again later. Bye. Have a good day at school. Bye. You know, it was about a year ago today that I first saw one of the most impactful quotes for me. And that quote was, hold the vision, trust the process. And when I first read those words, they struck such a chord with me that I immediately went and wrote them right at the top of my daily to-do list. Every single, oh hi PD. Every single day I look at this list, I write out the next few days of things to do. So now this quote is right at the top, reminding me of the vision and the process every single day. Now this quote hits me so hard because it's the exact right combination of words that lays out what I've been telling myself in my own head in much more complicated ways for years on end. Hold the vision, trust the process. Now I know for me in particular, it's the process side of the things that hits home first. The process is the day to day. It's the ups and the downs. It's, it's the failures and the setbacks that go along with all of those little wins. Now it's when this process starts to take its toll, when all those uh, little setbacks start to mount up much higher than all the wins that you've been getting for that week or that month or even that year, that's when vision really comes into play. At least it does for me. And it's knowing where you wanna be in the future, in the near future, in the far future, that's what keeps you on track. And for me, it really takes both. For everybody, it takes both. Holding the vision, trusting the process. So for me, the general vision that I've had for, I think my entire life, as far as I can remember, and then the two of us for the last like 10 plus years, it's really about getting to be creative every day and doing a job that doesn't feel like a job. There's a ton of hard work and like big long days, but in the end, I'm most of the time pretty excited to head upstairs and like get to work on stuff because I just enjoy what I do. And in the last couple of years, it's really turned very specifically towards mountain biking. I'm obsessed with creating <laughs> mountain bike content. <laughs> yeah, I remember this time last year, all you could talk about and think about was making mountain bike videos and working with other people who make mountain bike videos. That's yeah. all you wanted to do well, was mountain bike content. Especially for us being like full-time photographers, which is what we have been for the last 10 years. And going into winter time, it's a little bit of a slower season for us. And it's when I'm really like, I'm done all the crazy shoots and now my brain starts thinking ahead into the future and I'm just like, I just wanna work <laughs> on mountain bike content only and I wanna work with people within the industry. Those were the two big things that I could not get off my mind. And we were about nine months into the Lone Ranger channel and we were seeing growth, but it wasn't anywhere near where we could go full time with it, right? And so I just kept telling myself, in one way or another, hold the vision, trust the process. So I saw that quote, and that's exactly what I've been saying ever since then. Now, <laughs> rather exciting news to share. The Lone Ranger Company is officially, officially, work, officially <laughs> working with Pole Bike Company. Yeah, this is a big thing, hey yeah. <laughs> So we, uh, you know, as you guys know, I got a Pole Evo Link 140 about this time last year and started riding it, really enjoyed it, this like new thinking of geometry. And then fast forward to when I went to Crankworks in Whistler and I hung out with the guys from Pole, they let me do a test ride and a review, a review of the machine. And at that point there was no, there was no contract, there was no nothing. We, we didn't even talk about any of this. None of this had even come up yet. And, but they asked us if we wanted to one, have a proper channel sponsorship from Pole, and two, help them create some content. And they just wanted help making uh, fun videos and informational videos having to do with what's it like to ride the bikes, to travel with the bikes, to purchase the bikes, how the bikes deliver, all these sorts of things. Um, we're gonna help make some content for them. And like I said, they're also sponsoring the channel, which is really, really exciting. Now, what does that mean for the channel? Basically two things. One, we're gonna have access to lots of different types of bikes to make so much more content with. Yeah. Like for us, we've always been sort of like one bike pe people. That's I have my one bike that I do everything with. I mean, you it's haven't even what had we a bike. Can afford. Yes, basically what we can afford has been <laughs> one bike at any one time. Whereas now, we have access to, like, I am so excited. I am so excited to try like their 26 inch dirt jump bike to go and just like hit some ridiculous jumps try and learn some stupid moves. 
it's gonna it's gonna be great. I want to backflip into a foam pit. That's that's my goal for the winter. I'm not foam super pit, excited about backflip, this goal. <laughs> for example. I am excited for the fat bikes. I can't wait to keep riding all through this ridiculousness. It's so cool. Yeah, fat biking will be good, especially for keeping the fitness and the skills up through the winter months. And there are so many other bikes. Obviously, the Machine, they just announced that Stamina, which is like a longer travel 180, 180, mm -hmm. like absolute monster of a bike. I really can't wait to try that. So, so many cool opportunities. The other part of it is we're gonna be able to travel more and travel with the two of us. So not just me, Beth is gonna be coming along for a lot of these trips as well. <laughs> And so we're gonna keep making videos, we're gonna keep going down that road, but I wanna heighten the quality of everything, like take everything to the next step for the production quality and storytelling and travel. And the women's perspective. And the women's perspective of things. It's gonna be awesome. And to start it off, we have got a pretty rad trip planned. We're actually leaving at the end of this week. Well, when this video comes out, we're leaving tomorrow, the next day mm -hmm. on this. And I can't tell you much about it right now, but it's gonna be really awesome. But if you follow us on Instagram, then oh. you will be able to find out where we're going. Graham, shout out. <laughs> Instagram right there. <laughs> Go check us out. Between the poll sponsorship and Patreon and you guys watching these videos and sharing and liking, we are able to do this 100% full time. All we're doing is making mountain bike content. Yes. Up top. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun coming up. I hope you guys will journey along with us. It's going to be a good time. All right. Let's get to work. Thank you.